Hey, Mick and Bill again, and today we're going to be talking about blogging versus autoblogging. And Actually, we've had a comment from one of the last videos. They're calling us Beauty and the Beast. Be and if and anybody else calls you a beast, I was going to say, man, that just, so. you know, being beastly is just not for me. <laughs> I'm beastly? No, that's different. I don't know. I'm feasting right now. Let's those, get serious. Those though. fish tacos, man. Damn. Yes. So, um, blogging and auto blog. Everybody says auto blogging is dead. It's old news. Blah blah. You know what? I don't think so. It's make, it's paying for my boat slip every month, and that thing's upwards of six hundred bucks a month. So let's talk about auto blogging versus regular blogging, and um, just what which direction to go if they're on the fence about it, and uh, what's your take on that? Well, auto blogging is my passive income methodology. And when you look at the effectiveness, it's definitely changed over the years. Definitely. It's, it's it used to be a very, very simple thing to do. Now it requires a little bit more technology and a little bit more effort. And the understanding that really what you got to do is develop a blog or a look of a blog that is extraordinary and you have to deliver high quality, unique content. And it doesn't have to be handwritten but it at least has to be, you know, spun content uh, with a, a source like UAW or other ones that are, are uh, that's high quality, so that it reads like traditional English and not like it was written by somebody uh, that has English as a second language. If you do that and you consistently flow content and consistently add backlinks at the same time without going stupid and adding too much content, you will drive significant uh, traffic to those pages um, each individual web page's lifespan on the search engine is limited compared to what it used to be in the past but you can still do very very well with it especially when you're looking at adsense income and things that are very passive that's what works for me i mean i i set them up and you can set up a really nice blog you know with wordpress and i'm not saying using the free wordpress platform I get a nice domain name, I do a little bit of keyword research, and I, I niche it correctly, and I put it on my own server, of course. But if you treat each one of those little blogs like it's your personal baby that's a real blog, and you put the time into it, and using a couple of cool tools like the ATN tool and, and stuff like that, you're going to see some uh, real good increase in income with that. And the biggest thing I think that people forget with autoblogging is it's not just set it and forget it. Because it's just going to kind of just wither on the vine. But you're going to have people hitting that stuff. And if you take time or you create some tools that you have to uh, respond to the people that actually are hitting that thing, now you've got an interaction thing. Now we're going back to Panda. Panda's noticing what's going on here. There's an interaction on this blog. People are staying longer. And there's some socializing going on. I think that's a really big tip. And I know there's a lot of new tools that... Um, well, that we, have, we, have a, we have a plug-in that we give away that's a comment bribe. So essentially what it does is it says, uh, leave a comment and we'll give you a free piece of software or an ebook or something like that. So it's so you get a casual visitor on your weight loss site and you'll say, uh, leave a comment and we'll give you a coupon for diet food from Jenny Craig or something like that. Or download this diet book yeah. uh, you know, of recipes. I'll tell you what's cool though. You do that, you leave them a bribe, and their coupon is tied to a CPA offer. So not only are you getting the comment, you're making money on the CPA yeah, that's offer. That's the way to do it. We're going to talk more about CPA down the road. But um, again, back to regular blogging versus auto blogging. Um, you've got a lot of guys out there that that's their whole job. I'm a blogger. What do you blog about? I blog about food or I blog about, you know, gasoline and you know replacing gasoline engines with water whatever it is and obviously if it's something that you're intently working on day in day out that's your niche that's your job a set blog and being known for that blog far outweighs the auto blogging thing but what we're talking about with auto blogging is it's multiple streams of income working for you in the background on an auto it's set up automatically so it's it's just auto money coming in every month while you focus on maybe whatever your main niche is. Don't you agree? Yeah, I mean, my branding site, mccraysite.com, which is my blog, um, 30,000 unique visitors a month, over half a million page views and growing, um, is completely different than uh, a website where I'm driving 100 unique visitors a day, unlike a typical auto blog, which is like 
3,000 uniques and maybe uh, you know 20,000 page views. Right. Big difference. But we still pick up those clicks on AdSense ads and I've got a thousand of them as opposed to one. Right. So, so it's a completely different beast. Uh, and the beautiful thing about my own blog is it allows me to brand my name. Same thing with the social network and it also allows me to grow my list easily. Yeah. Each one of those blogs has uh, an opt-in or... I try to make sure that all of them have either an opt-in or I have an exit vector using WP Exit Window, which is a free plugin that I've given away close to 100,000 copies of this last year. Um, so what I'll do is I'll take a, a group of blogs and have them all exit the one URL, which then goes to a single offer. So you get maybe 100 blogs all sending all their exit traffic to one location. And that can be an offer or uh, an opt-in form or whatever. I usually put opt-in forms in there because, again, I get to leverage that traffic. So you can use that, uh, that marginal traffic and accumulate it and funnel it to whatever you want to do. With it. So and this just goes to show and to prove <clears throat> that I am truly lazier than Bill is. Yeah, well, I've got more employees than he does. Because so. I don't even go that far. I set up these auto blogs. I let them run on autopilot in the background. And the way I've got my model set up is I've got basically you're showing up to exit and you're paying me to leave. So you've got one of uh, there's actually three different vectors. I've got ClickBank, I've got AdSense, and I've got Amazon on there. You read the article, whether you read it or not, I don't care. You can come to my website and go, this is absolutely not what I'm looking for, but this ad is. Click that ad to leave, I get paid. Now the beauty of that is I also have exit traffic, so if they don't click on any of those things, up pops a thing for a free website or something that's going to still get them into a list and I'm going to get paid from that on the back end. So once you, once you set one up, you can pretty much duplicate this over and over and over again very simply and, the, and it's just like anything else. As soon as you get comfortable doing it, you can bang out two or three a day. So if you're sitting around and it's a, it's a, it's a rainy day outside and you've got nothing better to do, why not build yourself an extra two to three, five hundred dollar a month uh, little sales funnel using one of these auto blog techniques. Yeah, and I, I use a service called Niche Profit Blogs to do that, which is actually my own service. And I can build a complete, fully monetized website with my exit vector already set up in 15 minutes. Pretty and cool. so can you by using that. What's that website again? Well, there's several of them. One of them is called NicheProfitBlogs.com. Cool. So there's a really good tip. And that's our take on blogging versus auto blogging. Hope you enjoyed the video.